Good morning. Saturday, January 20th, 2018. Mainstream media reporting Tom Petty. Tom Petty died of an accidental overdose, Oxycontin and fentanyl. Ooh. So he had some hip problems, it turns out. So it's a little proof of life. I love Tom Petty. So my name is Marcus Conti. I'm a former sanitation enforcement agent. I am the plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. 101058-2016. And um, a little breaking news. So I call the court. Right? This is this is standard. Right? I call the court for a date in February. <laughs> and it turns out that the um, the court, according to the clerk, the court postponed it one month till March. Now I don't know if there's legal minds in the in the field, I don't know what that means. You know, I am calling for, you know, criminal investigation and civil penalties. Maybe they need more time to investigate it. Uh, open the door to First Amendment. Oops, my, <laughs> my notes flew away. We open the door to um, First Amendment complaint and the uh, right to a jury, Seventh Amendment. So maybe that's the delay. I don't know. Again, if there's legal minds uh, in the audience that know why uh, 81 would postpone, I don't know. could just be very busy, busy month. But either way, as I've always said, that time, the issue of, of time faster is better is not, it's not the case. You take it as it comes, you know, so... So that's that. So we're on the uh, we're not technically on the calendar for March, but I was I was informed as the plaintiff that um, the case is now scheduled for March, and that in mid February we'll have the exact date in March. Okay. So um, all the predators uh, in this case are still employed at DSNY. I have uh, you know people inside telling me that so. They're all still there. I don't want to keep mentioning their names and stroking their egos and fuck you. you know? But they're all still, uh, Burke, we'll mention his name because he's the ringleader. All still employed at DSNY in, in the face of uh, uh, obvious quota corruption, obvious uh, you know, falsification of documents. All still employed. So maybe that's what the court is looking at. I, I, I don't know. Okay, so uh, what else? So that's really all. I, I don't really want to say much. Uh, I don't. I don't really have much more to add other than that uh, breaking news that uh, we're now looking at March. And uh, you know, life takes an interesting turn. Life is, for me, became. It's becoming busier, and somewhat more full. Uh, in the light of this, you know, as as the as now that the, over the two year mark. Uh, on this discrimination and retaliation and you know it's what I, I what comes to mind is what Martin Luther King said he said a lot of things but one of the things he said was um, justice too long delayed is justice denied justice justice too long delayed is justice denied so that's what we're fighting against right now we don't want to we don't, we don't want to make it just, you know, a thing of the, of the past. We have to win so that, so that we hold DSNY and the city of New York accountable for massive corru corruption fraud. And so that echoes all the way across the country, that it becomes, we set precedents that you cannot do this to people. You cannot use discrimination and bullying and aggressive tactics to, to, to hold people to an illegal quota. And it, 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 it's clear that it's going on in various law enforcement agencies across the country. So that is, that is the point of winning. Yes, Conti needs to be, you know, needs restitution for harm done. But as precedents, we need to set that precedent so that the quota madness stops once and for all. Right. Oh, so um, also... If you guys want a piece of uh, history, <laughs> I don't know if it's history, but I have, if you if you watch the old video, I have a bunch of uh, 
rejected copies, that, that video where I did the ser day of service, and I have that pile of rejected copies. So I have 10 of them. And uh, if you want one, right, I'll, it's signed. <laughs> I'll sign the cover. I'll put your name on it. Okay? And uh, just, you know, all I ask, you make a little donation. Right? You see the PayPal link down below. If you're broke, just tell me so. Email me, shorthappylife at gmail.com. Right. Judy Cop, yours is on the way. You know, I want to thank, you know, Sterling Price for keeping the conversation going out in Missouri. Uh, Lake, Lake of Ozark, Missouri. <laughs> Drinking his mason jar. And um, Chris Sullivan, good guy inside DSNY, sanitation guy fighting corruption, fighting the toxic fumes. Toxic fumes in the, in the you know, inside the inside the garage is black smoke pouring out of garbage trucks. Guys fighting for that. Inside Great Unknown, Chuck Palumbo, the professor. Ah, those informants. Stay tough, man. Stay tough. You know? Stay tough inside there. Don't let them get don't let them get you. Don't let them get you. Don't let them don't let them spoil your spirit. You know? A victory a victory for you know lost for Conti is a victory it's bad, you know. It's bad. They they win, and then they, they they their corruption is justified, and it it can go on indefinitely. So, if not rooting for me personally, root for yourselves and root for a victory. Okay. And in the interim, you know, keep surfing the um, keep surfing the news. News is very important. Surf, you know, local New York news, New York Post, Daily News, USA Today, the the metro sections. For any breaking news that we might um, stumble on that could be related to this, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so again, Saturday, January 20th, we'll, do, we'll be looking at March, a March uh, oral argument in front of the panel of judges, April, May, June. We may get a decision, you know, in the springtime. April, May, June, small time. Hell of a battle. It'll be two and a half years burning down the road. You know? Peace out.